Oh hi guys, so today's vlog, something I did way back but I've always been interested in the hypebeast culture All this cool swag and everything Shoes, I, I kind of like shoes as well but I can never really truly understand it I've made a couple of videos about it here, here I'm Basically, I am not, I'm not hype But I've always wanted to understand the hype, the, the culture behind it, the shoe culture What do I mean by that? Uh, like three months back I was actually walking downtown, I was heading home after a late night movie and I saw this poster right here. So they were about to release the new um, Yeezy's Butter. Is it Yeezy's Butter? Yeezy's Butter. And there was no one queuing up. So I was a bit like, whoa, what is going on? I thought Yeezy's are hype and people would be wanting to queue up for this. I, I asked on my Instagram, guys, should I queue up for this? Yeezys and a lot of you guys said yes. That's exactly what I did. I went down the next day, early morning and this is my journey of queuing up 24 hours for a pair of Yeezys. So it's now 7.51 and I'm about to leave my house. I'm about to do something really dumb. Once again, it's going to be interesting. It's going to be really interesting. 9.30. I'm currently now in Orchard Town. I'm going to queue overnight for a pair of Yeezys. Oh, it's such a bad weather. It's raining right now. So that is where the Adidas store is. Oh my god, it looks like there's no one. Oh my god, the rain. Oh my god, I might be actually like the first few. This is the queue. I have been a little bit too early. There's like literally three people in front of me. What time have you guys been here? Uh, 8 30. 8 30? Yeah. KG? Monty. Monty. Where are you guys from? Sorry, I'm They've been here since 8.30. Yep, that's it guys. <laughs> I'm gonna stay overnight. Uh, I think the shop opens at 11. Make myself comfortable. I only got a switch for entertainment and my mobile phone and one portable charger. That's it. I don't even know how much the shoe, how much they're selling the shoe for. Is it? Uh, 350. 350. 350. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that. 350 dollars. So the next question is, are you gonna sell it or are you gonna like keep it? So for me, the only reason why I'm doing this, my father, he always wanted a pair, so I'm doing this and I'm gonna give it to him on his birthday. Are you guys keeping it or selling it? Selling. <laughs> so right now it's 11.30. I went out of the queue to get a quick lunch. Who's uh, with me? Uh, Palsy's with me. Uh, to go to Daiso and quickly get some stuff. To help me in this journey because my butt hurts when I was sitting on the floor. So I'm thinking of getting those chairs, you know those foldable chairs? 12, 20. I've got my post. I've got clothes to change for tomorrow. You pay 8.5. You pay 8.5. Yeah. Big, big, big. So they give each of you a sticker and it says your shoe size. So you have to buy this one. You can't change it. All this here, hardest part is a lot of weird stares from people just like walking by, judging us sitting and queuing up for shoes here. Very, very judgy people, getting judged a lot. Close 325, close to 50 people right now. So this right now is not a paid app for Circus Live. But basically I just paid $3 and I got unlimited data until the end of the day. Pretty much I've just been Netflixing the whole time. 6.30, just left the queue. So it's dinner time, they gave me two hours, so I have to be back by 8.30. Brand is here, Cookie is here. My butt hurts so bad. My mission is food and then go to get a chair or a cushion. I don't know, I just need something for my butt. <laughs> I need something. Sitting down, doing nothing and watch Netflix is not as easy as I thought it would be. <laughs> 820, just had my dinner, bought stuff, we're back at the queue. They kind of like made everyone squeeze closer. Really tight space right now. I roll call at 9. Other than that, I guess it's another waiting game. Uh, but, to help my butt, I bought a cushion. <laughs> I couldn't find any chair, a cushion will have to do. Yay! It feels so much better to stick on a cushion. Survive now, I can survive. Number two in the queue. This is number one. Hi. Hi. My name is Nina and I'm from Malaysia. Yo, she's just. She's, she's, what time have you been here since? Uh, morning, seven, around 7.30. 
Yo, she's been here since 7.30. But uh, she told me that she's buying to wear it. Yeah, I am buying. Told me that her mom is actually queuing behind. <laughs> she's number 41. Yeah, and I'm number one. <laughs> Mom overslept, so she's 41. She's number one. At least you still get a shoe. You still get a shoe. All right, mini update. They just gave everyone a bottle of water. So, thanks to Adidas for welfare right here. So now, in two minutes time, I will need your assistant to cooperate to stand up. Take your off for a break. Okay, this will be a longer break. Two hours. So after the roll call, they give us like a two hour break. So now it's about 9.15. I have to go back at 11 at Starbucks. And I'm just trying to charge my laptop, my portable charger, my camera. Back there in about an hour and a half. It's almost 11. I'm feeling really, really tired right now. Kind of regretting uh, doing this right now, but... Another break time is currently 11.40. The next call time is 2 a.m. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna check out the TA movie theater nearby. And if they have a good movie right now, I'll just watch it. Book Club Oceans 8. Just bought a movie ticket for what am I watching? <laughs> Oceans 8. And it starts at 12. I'm watching a movie alone at 12 midnight. It's 2 a.m. It's pretty ridiculous. They're, they're still doing the roll call right now, and the next meeting it's 4 a.m. You only get like less than two hours of sleep. It's not like you can sleep all the way. You have to be awake, which I feel is a little bit ridiculous. It's like every two hours, it's like every two hours you have to. Uh, I, I don't know what I'm saying anymore, but oh my god, 4 a.m. I'm just gonna try to take that. And this pillow I got from Daiso has turned out to be one of the best investments I've made in my life. <laughs> and see you guys at 4 a.m. Alright, guys, so time check right now. It's about 6 10 a.m. I am so tired. Things are starting to get open in the mall. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go to the toilet, wash up a little bit, wash my face, change my shirt. So far, the experience has been nothing but a little bit hellish because of the every two hour roll call. I am just tired. I am just tired. Right now, it's 8 a.m. 8 um, they just opened the store. That's a good sign. And it's Starbucks just like editing stuff. And so the interesting thing is everyone that walks past is it's kind of like in shock that they ask a lot of questions like why are there people sleeping overnight and everything. And that's why I like to do this out there because I want to understand stuff. I want to do things I've never done before. Things are looking good. The store is open so we're kind of hopeful that they will give out the shoe early instead of 11. Very, very hopeful. I think everyone's excited to leave this queue. I can't wait to get out of here! <laughs> Dinner, and I might meet some of my friends. So that's good. Oh my god! It is time! First person is going in. Hello! Thank you. Oh, thank you. So, you want to check your shoe first? Thank you. Oh my god, yeah. after 24 hours, yes. Yes, 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 everything looks fine, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Alright guys, we did it after 24 hours. Ah. Thank you, thank you. Yay, thank you so much. Oh my god. All right, guys, about time. Got it. After 24 hours, I think, 24 hours, 9.30, 9.30 a.m. and we are done. Oh my god, it's almost exactly 24 hours. <laughs> I'm gonna go get breakfast. <laughs> We're back, so this is the Yeezy Butter. It's, it's pretty <laughs> yellow and it's something that I don't think I can wear. It's something that I couldn't pull off, but I said my brother always wanted a pair of Yeezys and 
Yeah, this was not easy to get to guys. Still queuing up for 24 hours for this pair. Uh, is it worth? If you really like the shoe and you can get it at a retail price because people will mark up the price, people resell it. Like I asked a few people on who they was queuing up, would you resell it? Almost 80% of the people queuing up say, yeah, they're gonna resell it. If you like the pair of shoe and you're queuing up for it, I think that's okay and because it's something that you would wear. But if you're queuing up to make a profit out of it, um, I don't know. The idea of uh, queuing up for something that you know is going to resell for a lot and just to get a profit. Not really my thing. Enjoy this video and see you guys. Bye.